Well, I always say that every academic should try to recruit people who are smarter than they are. And I'm very happy that uh, I've succeeded at least once. It was clear from the beginning that he was just so good. And it was just, it's been such a privilege to witness him grow as a scientist and a leader. What really drives him is uh, scientific research and trying to address important questions. Jan joined as a postdoc just out of his PhD. In very rapid progression, this young man who, uh, this shy, polite, lovely young man, had become a full professor in the, in the blink of an eye. From there, he's gone on, obviously, to win numerous awards, including Prime Minister's Prize for Life Sciences. If I had to choose two words, I would say smart and dedicated. Creative, because he has some just really, really good ideas which are really out of the box. Tian is probably the sharpest person I have ever known in my life. He's like a lighthouse to me whenever I'm puzzled by my own project. I was an invited speaker at a conference in Hangzhou in China. When I arrived at the conference center, the door opened for me and there's this tall Chinese student standing there looking at me and saying, you must be Peter Fisher in good English. And I was mightily impressed because this person who was Jian Yang had memorized the photographs of all the invited speakers at that meeting. And I thought, we need to get that guy over here in Brisbane. A year later he arrives and the rest is uh, history. My first memory is very clear indeed. Jeanne came to Brisbane for an interview. He'd just finished his PhD and he gave a seminar and he was talking about something really complicated, but it was so clear. And it turned out this was his first ever seminar in English. And so, you know, the first impression was this was someone who was super smart. And he is. <laughs> I was amazed by uh, Jian Yang's uh, publication record. My first impression of him is that he is really smart, and in the meantime, he is very hardworking. Just imagine the amount of work behind this nice paper every year. Jian's enthusiasm for science really inspired me. He always looked at a problem with different aspects and comes up with some novel ideas. He inspired me by being a role model. Uh, he gave me a lot of support, which, are, which were very, very important for me. Uh, Jian Yang's uh, 2010 uh, Nature Genetic paper is, is a landmark in our field, quantitative genetics. I also believe that that paper is totally uh, shaped the, the, the direction of this field. Well, you know, Jean, I suppose, is known internationally for his methods and his software. And so, you know, these are really used around the world by literally, you know, hundreds of researchers, probably thousands. And then they've been applied to almost any d disease, any trait. They're even applied to non-human species. And so just that breadth of application means that, you know, he's contributed, you know, tremendously to simply understanding the genetic contribution to these common complex diseases and traits. One of his major contributions has been to show that common disease, differences between people in their, in their liability to disease, is mainly due to many, many genes, each with a very small contribution by themselves. This is quite profound because it has a direct effect on how we conduct our experiments to find genetic or DNA variants that are associated with, with a particular disease. I really wish Jan well for his, his new lab in China. I think this is going to be very interesting to see what he does in years to come. I, I know this uh, is, is a very exciting time for Jian. I wish him enormous success, which I'm sure he'll have, and we hope to see him regularly back at the University of Queensland. He's going to a very, very exciting new uh, opportunity. It's a, a private university in, in China and I'm expecting to see fantastic discoveries from him and wish him extremely well in the, in the future. And we already also really hope that we will keep connections uh, going for, uh, for poss possible collaborative research. So uh, Jan, all the best in your, uh, on your future. We'll miss you here, but it's a great opportunity for you.